While we've been spared from serious damage, much different story as we mentioned in Iowa. Late word tonight, there are multiple deaths in the tornado outbreak there, but it's not clear just yet how many. This drone video shows the devastation in Greenfield, about 60 miles southwest of Des Moines. The small town nearly leveled. CBS 2's Madabel Gonzalez is live showing us the new video tonight. Madabel. Yeah, Joe and Erica, definitely difficult images coming into our newsroom. This latest round of storms and severe weather coming just hours after hundreds of thousands of residents were left without power in Houston, Texas. Tonight, it's our Midwest neighbors who are grappling with the devastating weather that has damaged their homes and their most precious belongings. Extensive damage in the Midwest as severe weather sweeps across the region. Multiple tornadoes touching down in Iowa, destroying homes, buildings, and cars along their path. It's devastating. I've lived here all my life. I'm just praying that everybody was safe. Everybody's safe and nobody got hurt. One of the hardest hit areas, the rural town of Greenfield, southwest of Des Moines. Several residents, four blocks, left rummaging through the debris. The Greenfield community has a long road ahead of them. But if their actions today are any indication of what lies ahead, they will emerge stronger and more, re more united than ever. Oh. Amid the devastation, a hopeful moment as one woman is reunited with her missing dog. All my family and friends who like live right here were all okay, but the dog <laughs> wasn't here. Um, but we found her, so I'm just like so thankful to God that we're all here. In the southwest part of the state, several wind turbines made to withstand strong winds tipping over. These images showing at least one of them catching fire. Des Moines schools letting students out early ahead of the storms. Hours earlier in Nebraska, widespread power outages reported as fast winds and heavy rainfall flooded homes and streets. Large hail shattered car windows and damaged buildings. Now, Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds has issued a disaster emergency across more than a dozen counties there. This as officials are working right now to assess the damage. Meanwhile, people in several southern states from Kentucky to Texas are bracing for severe weather that could hit their area next. Reporting live in the loop, Maribel Gonzalez, CBS 2 News. Thanks, Maribel.